If we try to be like everyone else, it just gives ill. It gives be yourself. Hey, what's up, gorgeous, gorgeous girls, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nessa. I talk all about embracing the woman I'm becoming while encouraging you all to do the same. Y'all, welcome back to another makeup and message video. Welcome back. It's really just free flow, uncut, raw. And I'm just do a little bit of makeup because I'm getting ready to go to Bible study. It's in like an hour, hour and a half, actually an hour and a half. So I'm gonna do a little light makeup, a little light beat, nothing too crazy. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just talk. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. So how about now? <laughs> I really just want this to be free flow like I'm chit chatting with a girlfriend like I'm chit chatting with my friend on the phone on FaceTime I really wanted to give FaceTime call with the girls okay I really wanted to get FaceTime call with your friend we got elf putty primer I'm gonna do something real light real chill for church for Bible study today but anyways I was on TikTok yesterday on my mama's TikTok because I don't have a TikTok no more but I was on my mama's TikTok on her iPad and I seen this video of this girl. Content I wanna see. Godly women, I want to see your full life. There are so many Christian influencers on here that come on here and they attempt to teach and you're not really equipped to teach yet. And I'm not saying that you can't share your faith, but what I am saying is that more people, in my opinion, need to see what our entire lives in Christ look like. What is your personality? How do you dress? Like not everything has to be so specifically about us teaching the Bible, especially when we are newer Christians, which in my opinion, a lot of people on TikTok are newer Christians and you are not yet equipped to teach. And again, I'm not, don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you can't share something that God encouraged you with, but your whole TikTok is just about you telling people to go on a fast and all these things. And like it, as a, like a more seasoned believer, it's cringy a little bit because it's like, oh my God, you're going to look back on this in like seven years and be like, what in the world was I talking about? But that's not really the point of the video. The point of the video is me saying the kind of content that I want to see from believers, from male believers, women believers, whatever, is your life. What do you do? What is your personality? Who has God created you to be? Do you have a sense of humor? How do you spend your free time? How do you budget? Um, do you go out to eat with your girls? What does your life look like? How do you settle disputes with your spouse? How do you deal with your addicted family members? How do you deal with grief? Some of these are a little specific to me. I literally woke up to record this. Women who do not know our Lord share their lives on here all the time. And people, especially people who are new to the faith, need to know what our full lives look like. So share that. Okay, now I'm going to sleep. Bye. But she was pretty much just stating how it's important for us to like really show what it looks like to follow God, right? What it looks like to be a follower of Christ and live out our Christian walk on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Like, what does that look like on a daily? Like, how can you showcase that through video? How can you showcase that online through content? How you live your life for Christ, whether that's you going to the grocery store, like whether you're going to hang out with a friend, like how do you manage money as a believer of Christ? How do you manage um, your home? Like showing all different aspects of your life as a daughter of God, right? And I really enjoyed what she was stating and everything because I wouldn't say recently, but I found myself like really getting hyper focused on trying to be in a specific niche. Oh, I got to make this kind of content. I got to make this kind of content. And I was really just getting frustrated with myself because as women, we are multifaceted, like as humans, period. We are multifaceted beings. Okay. Like there is so much more to us. Like, why are we trying to fit into a niche? Why are we trying to fit into just putting ourselves in a box? Why are we trying to do that? And when I was listening to that, and as I've been just meditating on it, and as well as just in my own life, I've just been realizing I've been trying to put myself in a box. I've been like feeling like I have to fit one specific niche or whatever. Like if I make Christian content, I only got to talk about my faith. I can't showcase everything else. And I just found myself just getting overwhelmed. And I just hate that. First of all, y'all are always going to get Christ. Let's be clear because that's how I live my life. Like 
the foundation, my morals, my standards, they are all stemming from the word of God. Like that's how I live my life. That's how I'm trying to live my life. Let's say that on a daily basis. Oh, dang. Um, not the, not the, the eyebrow pencil coming out. <laughs> but that's literally, to be honest, should I even put makeup on? I already put the high growth grip. <laughs> we are multifaceted as women. Like, we're multifaceted. I hate the idea of being boxed in. Like, I hate the idea of being boxed in. And I felt like I was trying to box myself in. And the reason it wasn't working, because I did not even, that's not who I am. Like, that's just not who I am. Like, it never gave box in kind of girl. It always gave just show who you are in every aspect, whether that's through traveling, whether that's through cooking. I love to cook. I love to dress up. I love to travel. Like there are so many aspects of who I am and who we are in general as daughters of God. And like, let's showcase that. You know, there's this saying like something I always say, your individuality is your superpower. That's something that I'm trying to live by every single day. Like, I do not have to look like anyone else. Like, I don't have to try to fit into this box that society wants to fit women in. Like, you have to look this way, okay? With the whole, we know the societal standards, the beauty standards and all that. I just don't want to subscribe to that because that's just not who I am. I want to embrace my individuality. My individuality is my superpower. And I heard this from Jordan Woods. I always mention it, but I, I don't think I ever gave credit. So let me give credit where credit is due. If we're trying to be like everyone else, it just gives ill. It gives be yourself. It gives be original. <laughs> like be yourself. Like why are you trying to be like everybody else? Like why? Like respectfully, like be yourself, babes. <laughs> no, but for real. <laughs> So that is something that I'm learning. Like, I really just want to embrace every aspect of myself. Like, it never gave boxed girl. Like, it never gave, put her in a box. It never gave that. But this is so random. <laughs> I really hope this video isn't all over the place. Honestly, I really hope it's not all over the place. But... I found myself trying to figure out like where I fit in in a way like I'm like okay God I want to do this like I have this idea this idea and what I will automatically do is like go online to see if somebody's doing that and I don't know why I did that I really don't know but I would go online to see okay is somebody doing that is there someone that's doing something similar to this and I was just realizing like I don't like that because it was as if I was making that person that I was looking up like the standard, you know, like my sister in Christ, like, oh, let me see if my sister in Christ does something like this. And it didn't come from like an evil motive or intention, but it was like, I was not, um, I was not like believing in my ideas and believing that my ideas were worthy or, you know, my con, like my ideas were good enough, you know? And I just don't plan to live like that. Like, I really don't want to. Oh, let me let this dry a little bit. But yeah, I found myself doing that. Like, feeling like, oh, my content has to look like her. Or I don't got that kind of house. Like, I was telling the Lord, like, God, I do not live in this kind of house that's very aesthetically pleasing. And yes, I want that one day. But... I've just been trying to remind myself, like, Vanessa, your house doesn't need to be aesthetically pleasing in order for you to create content, in order for you to do what God called you to do. Work with what you have. And to be honest, you have a lot. Like, there's people that are, that's making it shake and bake, okay? And they don't be having, have as much, okay? And it's like, be grateful. Like, be grateful and work with what you have and stop, stop caring so much about, like, the the materialistic thing work with what you have you're like in a really great predicament you still have the opportunity to live at home build out your business you know um work on so many things and thankfully i'm not i know a lot of people they struggle with this like their parents are like they literally have to move out for their mental health and by the grace of god like i'm just so grateful because that's just not my story and i'm just so grateful for that Low-key, I don't even really want to put a lot of foundation. But, you know, like, I'm very grateful because that's not really my story. Like, I get to live home and I actually enjoy living home. <laughs> like, 
I get to cook. I get to be with my family. I get to really soak in this time with them and really, you know, get to know them in a new way. And so I'm grateful for that. Not everybody has that opportunity to do that. So I'm just like, it's really having like seeing things through a like seeing it with new eyes seeing things through a different perspective your perspective matters the way that you see things matter so so yeah i'm like girl be grateful there's people that don't have half as much as what you have and it's just like be grateful be grateful be grateful be grateful and be inspired by others but don't feel the need like you have to be like them and i hate that feeling like when i say i hate that feeling i really hate that feeling like feeling like dang i have to do it this way i have to do it that way and it's like who told you that <laughs> you actually don't like every oh <laughs> lol this is the real raw and uncut and i'm not putting that out y'all finna see this for real this real raw and uncut real raw and uncut and we making it happen okay um but yeah y'all it's really just embracing every aspect of myself and i talk i do y'all get tired of me talking about this <laughs> i feel like i it always comes back to the same thing it's really just embracing my individuality and my personality the way that god created me you know, he created all of us uniquely. Like, why are we trying to be like somebody else? Like, oh my gosh. Not the thing getting stuck. Let me see if I can get it out. Oh, Lord. Have mercy, Dad. <laughs> Real raw and I cut, y'all. I had to take this off because I don't really have a lot. Dad, how do I get back? I got to use, like, a small brush. Real raw and uncut, y'all. Yeah. I did say I'm not even trying to use that much foundation, so I'm going back in. Y'all, I don't even know how this video is going to come out. <laughs> but this is just me. This is just me. Um, Let me share what I've been learning recently on my walk with God. <sighs> There's really a lot that I've been learning recently on my walk with the Lord. A theme that has been popping up a lot for me is just obedience. Obeying the Lord. Obey the Lord. Obey the Lord. Just walk in obedience and really trusting in his character. Trusting in him as your father that he knows what's the best for you. And just really trusting him. Something else is, I wrote this in my blog also. If y'all don't follow me or subscribe to my blog go follow and subscribe because i'll be writing out here y'all i'll be writing and maybe you don't want to watch the video maybe you want to you know read or maybe you want to do both you could go read my blogs i am a blogger so i write um i write so y'all check it out but something else that i've been learning i forgot what i was gonna say this video is all over the place and then also laziness Ugh. Vanessa, that's one thing that you have to really um, get in order. Stop being lazy, bro. Like, girl, get it together. Get it together. Get it together. Laziness, laziness, laziness. Today, I went to the library, and I got this book. It's called The Mountain Is You. And I'm going to read that book. I've been wanting to read it. I was going to get Atomic Habits. But like it was checked out already. So I have to, because I want to reread Atomic Habits. I didn't even finish the book. But I want to get it back and finish it fully and just start fresh and reread that book. Because I literally need to get um, myself in order. I just need a reset. Like honestly, when it comes to my routine, when it comes to my routine, I just need a reset with my daily routine, like my nighttime routine, my morning routine. It definitely has fallen off and it's not consistent. Like it's not consistent and I don't like that. I thrive, honestly, I thrive in consistency. I thrive when I have a plan and everything is like boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? So I wanna get back into well, I have to come up with, I really have to come up with a new plan too because there's going to be some changes in my life soon. So, got to reset my 
my morning and nighttime routine. Um, you know, it's the fact that I said I wasn't really trying to do much. I mean, concealer is not much. So, yeah, just really getting my habits in order. And God delivering me from scrolling. Because I really hate that I scroll a lot, y'all. And it's not even like God delivering me from that. It's like, babes, you need to have self-control. You need to focus. You need to have time management. You need to have your priorities in order. It's not that I don't have my priorities in order, but it's like, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, I get distracted really easily. I get distracted really easily if I'm not working at a library. If I'm working at home at my desk area, I get distracted really easy. Like I need to physically go to the library or be in an office space in a co-working space in order to actually get work done. I've noticed that about myself and I'm either, I thrive very early in the morning to get work done or like really late at night. And I'm really trying to get out of the habit of being up late at night. I deleted Pinterest because I just hated that I was randomly going on there just scrolling. Don't need nothing, just scrolling. I deactivated my Instagram like a while ago, but I reactivated it because I needed to see something. Then I re-deactivated it. I just don't want to be on Instagram. There's like, I want to be on there sometimes. And then sometimes I'm just like, uh, I don't want to be on there. Like, I'm cool with the YouTube. And I don't know. I'm just like, well, I don't really want to be on there right now. Like, I felt like I was constantly having, like, when I was... When I was posting a lot of um, fashion content and wanting to post that more, which I still want to do, and I want to get that back up on here too, I just felt like it wasn't authentically me. I felt like I was trying to prove myself or just trying to do too much. And I'm like, girl, that's not even you. Like, I guess I love fashion. I love dressing up. But I felt like I was just doing too much. It's, I felt like I was just doing too much and I was trying to like do what everybody else do. And it's just like, girl, you don't have to do that. Just be yourself. Like ask my friends like my friends know like i've always been the content girl i've always been the girl that likes to document stuff take pictures and i'm just like do that i do that on a regular there's so much stuff i have on my phone that is content that i'm just like i just don't post it because of just overthinking or feeling like it has to look a certain kind of way and all the shenanigans all the y'all know y'all know and I'm just like, no, I hate when I feel like I'm not being authentic. Like, it did not give authentic posting that content on there. I just felt like, oh, I have to use these hashtags. I got to do this. I got to do that. They said do this, do that. And it's like, just do you. Just do you. And I'm not saying, okay, it's wrong to have a strategy because you should have a strategy. But at the end of the day, just be yourself. Like, I hate that I'm, like, I hate that I'm talking about this because I'm, I'm getting upset like I'm getting like ugh. like girl you know you know to be yourself but yeah like even here with this video this may not get a lot of views but hey it is what it is this is me real rotten and cut so and hey the people that want to watch it they'll watch it the people that love my personality they'll love it but yeah so yeah we're going to Bible study and I'm excited because Bible study just started back up today. It's the first day back and baby. So yeah, I'm just so grateful. And how how we looking? How we looking? The hair is growing, y'all. The hair is growing. My hair is growing. And I have my moments. Like some days I really love my natural hair and my as my hair is growing out and then some days I'm like I'm not feeling it and today was one of those days which is why I decided to wear this wig and I love curly hair in general I love natural hair in general I've always loved natural hair when my mom had permed my hair when I was a baby my hair would have been long if my mom ain't permed my hair <laughs> but when my mom permed my hair like I would literally be in middle school and I there was this one show that I used to watch there was this black girl on that show and we had kinky curly hair and she would wear it in two puffs and I will always tell my mom, like, I want my hair like that. And I was in middle school. I was like, I want my hair like that. I want my hair like that. Like, why isn't my hair like that? I've always loved natural hair. Like, you know, I've always loved natural hair. I mean, that's the hair that grows out of our heads, okay? But 
I always loved like our hair as black women. Some days I'm not really feeling it. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Some days, today was one of those days because I washed my hair yesterday. And today, I'm supposed to be getting my hair done soon, like putting it back into some like mini twists. But today I was literally, like the idea of like, brushing it out putting it in like mini twists so don't get matted up and all of that like i just did not want to do that honestly i've literally just been keeping it in a little fro because i have a little fro right now but i know that i have to like oh my gosh i think that was too much girl that was way too much y'all i don't be doing this much and i'm also not leaving on this shirt for um bible study it's too much. That's way too much, babes. <laughs> it's giving take some off. But I don't want to put yeah, it's giving take some off. I mean it's not bad, but I love this curly wig on me. That's my mama's. Do y'all just wear everything y'all mama have? Me and my mama are like this. What's hers is mine's, what's mine's is hers. Like, that's just that. Like, do y'all have a good relationship with y'all mom? What's my mom is mine. What's hers is mine. Period. Maybe that's it. Okay, I said I was going to do something like just chill and then here I am. Here I am. Mighty one. We worship you. That song has really been on my heart lately. I've been loving that song as of right now. Mighty One by Maverick City and Todd Dulaney. Ooh, this song just gets me. It's so good. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 6.36 p.m. Oh, 6.36? Okay, I still got time. It takes me like 20 minutes to get to Bible study. And Bible study's at 7.30. The weather is a little icky in Miami right now, like South Florida. Yeah, no Florida. Just be acting up, just be doing what it does best. Y'all, I've been selling stuff on eBay recently. But who had me paying $240 for some shoes? When I look at how much shoes that I bought, like, y'all, I used to be a, a sneakerhead. But not like a sneakerhead sneakerhead, like, the lower tier of a sneakerhead. I used to be a sneakerhead, like for real, for real. And me and my friend, <laughs> we would literally be on the website. Well, y'all remember when it was 23 is black? Do y'all remember? If any sneakerheads, do y'all remember 23 is black? Maybe in middle school and high school, I would be on 23 is black, seeing when the shoes coming now, having like my brother go wait out in line. I don't know if my brother ever waited out in line, but I never waited in line, but my brother would get me some Jordans. And literally just crazy, crazy. But then they moved to sneakers, the app. And that's literally, you have to literally try to win. It's literally like a lottery, bro. Like you have to try to win the sneakers. And yeah, to order it. So. I would be buying so much. Now I'm realizing, like, girl, not a lot, because I don't have a lot. I have more than enough, because those shoes, I didn't even need them. Like, like, girl, why was you buying shoes? Like, did you have that much money that you ain't know what to do with it? <laughs> so now I'm just reselling them on, like, eBay, trying to get some coins or whatever. Your goodness. Now I'm adding my own little twist. Like it never gave singer. <laughs> Y'all, if I knew how to sing, I would be singing all the time. Like nobody could tell me nothing if I knew how to sing. I low key probably would have been a little bit prideful. That's probably why I can't sing. <laughs> That's probably why the Lord ain't blessed me with that kid. Because, baby, I would have been singing everywhere with the riffs and everything. Probably why I can't sing, child. But I'll be singing in the shower. I sing to my Savior. I sing to my Father. Get a little blushy, blush, blush. And now I just need to 
put some lip gloss and we're good to go and I still have time to spare but I am going to change because I'm not wearing this shirt because this shirt is cute it's not because it's like this because I could I could do it like this but the thing is like my toes are not done they're not looking the best and I'm gonna wear tennis shoes and this kind of gives a top like this is very like cutesy casual this gives wear sandals with it this doesn't give wear tennis shoes so I'm either gonna wear these Converse or some other shoe I probably I don't know if I'm gonna show y'all because this is not that kind of video I'm not gonna do mascara in case I cry because they do worship before Bible study they do a little worship or should I put mascara no I'm not gonna put none um they do some worship before oh girl I don't think I blended this out. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do a little highlight. It's me saying I was not going to do no makeup. Also, I, do, I still don't know how to do wing liner. Putting on lashes, like, I need help. Any makeup artist, I still struggle with putting on lashes, so I just don't do it. And I used to get mink lashes so much. But, y'all, my lashes have just grown. Like, I used to get mink lashes, like, back to back to back. And I'm just like, I don't really like that look on me no more. You know, there was a time where I really liked the look. Maybe if I do something like very, very classic, like very classic, not too long, just very natural to like my actual length or like they have something called like the lash lift. Maybe something like that will just fit more like of where I'm at right now in life. But baby, I would get in them lashes and baby, getting lashes and it's not cheap. Like getting lashes is not cheap like you know how much money i've saved like shout out to my girl though Anne marie's beauty if y'all do want to get y'all lashes done go check her out on instagram she'll get you right but yeah i just couldn't do lashes no more i couldn't do it no more and i've been loving my lashes i think i've been we in 2024 maybe two years free from getting lashes Mm-hmm. 2022 i think that was the last time when i went on a cruise with my friend so lashes free i'm letting this dry up i'm gonna retouch up my edges just a little bit y'all let me know what y'all want to see what kind of videos do y'all want to see do y'all want to see more day in the life like morning routine as a as a christian like what that looks like i definitely want to do i still want to continue to do vlogs because y'all get to see like more so of my daily life um and how i go about my life on a day-to-day -day basis um I still also just want to do regular sit down chit chat videos I do that we could do a little FaceTime girl chat if y'all want but y'all let me know this is the final look I'm gonna just put some lip gloss on so while my audio decided to act up at the end of the video it's editing Nessa here and I just want to share with you all how I do my lips I go in with a wet q-tip to clean off my lips and really to prepare for the lip products because you don't want that makeup transfer and that concealer and foundation to still be on your list while you're putting on these new products. I then go on with a brown lip liner. You can get this from the beauty supply store, Ulta, Sephora, wherever you like. I then top it off with the NYX Butter Gloss Chef's Kiss. Super buttery, super pink, super cute. I love it. And then I just end it off with a lip plumper. I got this from Ulta. It's the brand Essence. That's pretty much my everyday lip combo, to be honest, when I am doing a makeup look. So thank y'all for watching this video. As always, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe below. And I'll see y'all in my next one.